welcome back to planning with penguins so you guys asked for it you wanted more mini happy planner stuff and so your plan with me's this week are going to be my two mini happy planners but the first one we're going to do is sort of my catch-all planner and i have the trendsetter mini sticker book the color uh color me happy and then the healthy hero mini so I haven't shown my mini to you guys very much, um, mainly because I haven't been doing very well keeping up with it. February, I haven't written anything, haven't done anything with my monthly habit trackers, and I've only actually decorated and used the first week. This was this past week, and then this is the week that we're on right now. So for some reason, my mini has not been in my purse. It ended up staying at home. So it hasn't gotten used properly, but I am encouraged to change that. So the reason I have Choose Happy is because it does have trendsetter stickers in it. And it has kind of some of the stickers from all the happy, the original Happy Planner Girl lines in it. And so I thought it would be good to kind of combine that with the actual trendsetter book. And so my first thing is I want to cover up the purple box at the bottom which for this week I believe said word of the week normally I cover up this bottom section just because I don't really know what to do with it and so that's kind of what I do I like the long horizontal stickers for the mini I have not figured out how to plan in a dashboard layout which I do have uh, and I haven't figured out how to plan in the mini vertical but I don't have a mini vertical so I haven't really had much of a challenge with it but I do have the dashboard layout and I just have yet to figure it out so I took the long horizontal sticker that says yay and I covered up most of that and then I never use washi anymore like ever but there was a little bit of that purple showing at the bottom oh hi Luna welcome to my video as always she actually loves washi rolls and that's what she's doing right now is trying to get it from me so I just threw a little bit of turquoise washi down there at the bottom like I said, I am not a washi girl. I tried to be at one point. I have a bunch of rolls of washi that I don't ever use. All right, so then I grabbed one of these long quotes that says, for reals, you are so pretty. I love the fact that these stickers in the mini starter books are just perfectly made for the horizontal layout. It's really, really nice. And I usually always stick a weekend sticker in between Saturday and Sunday. And so this one I chose to accent the yellow that was in that yay sticker. I grabbed a coffee cup for Monday because it's Monday and I'm going to need it. Then I grabbed a payday sticker to stick on Thursday because we get paid on Thursday this week, which is really nice. Even though we probably have bills to pay or something, but still. Now these to do like checklist boxes, I haven't really used a whole lot of them, but they do fit really nicely in this layout underneath the day of the week and they fill up that space. It's just that you have to fill it like, kind of next to it. It doesn't go the whole way across. But the check flags, checklist flags that they have like this rainbow one, you kind of have to put on the side of the day and the date in order for it to fit. And then you end up with a little tiny bit of a rectangle box that you have to decorate or fill in with something else. I guess you don't have to, but I do. All right, so I got this trendsetter sticker in this kind of like pastel pink color that has, says happiness is an inside job and the awesome trendsetter holographic foil, which is my favorite thing about trendsetter girl. And by the way, who is so excited for those ex those uh coordinated accessory packs that are coming to Hobby Lobby. So pumped. So purple is my favorite color and February has these purple lines. So I wanted to pull in some more of the purple. So I grabbed the good stuff right here. Horizontal sticker that has some graph paper next to it. And then this clear quote sticker that says you got this. I wanted to stick it on Wednesday, but it was just too big. And then I really wanted to use that sticker that says when in doubt, doubt, dance it out, but I didn't have the right amount of space for it. So I ended up having to put it back, but I'll use it again sometime soon. 
All right, so flipping through the trendsetter book, just looking to see if there's anything that I can use. Mainly now I'm trying to fill in the spot on the left side of the Wednesday check flag and the right side of the Thursday uh, box I wrote there. And again, with the Luna Cat, who as I do this voiceover is actually right next to me. So I grabbed some little hearts to do to-do list tasks for February. And again, just looking for some stuff that I can put in those spaces. It's kind of an awkward size space. So I found this little purple sticker just to jazz it up and add a little bit more purple. And then I'm grabbing my healthy hero. So my plan is to make sure I put my workouts in here. I kind of have them planned out in my um, in my head, but I hadn't planned them out on a piece of paper yet. So running shoes, and you'll see why I have some little stickers I put in there to kind of notate what my workouts are going to be, or just a general idea. So I grab this little barbell. I love the icons from Healthy Hero. That's some of my favorite, favorite things are these icons. My page of shoe stickers has come out and I added some pink shoes over there on Friday. And then I want some yoga pants, of course, the purple yoga pants, because purple is the best. My Healthy Hero mini sticker book is kind of coming apart. All right, so I love these little icon circles that have gold foiling and say different things like cardio, yoga, gym, all that kind of stuff. So next to my little shoes, I put cardio. And then next to my yoga pants, I put workout and yoga. I like to do body weight strengthening stuff along with doing yoga. And then I'm just adding some more throughout the week for what my general plan and my brain is for how I'm planning on going about my workouts. I'm just trying to keep it kind of even, but I like sort of layering these little dots as like a cluster. Started doing it in the Healthy Hero Planner and I've kind of liked it ever since. All right, so now looking through some of the stickers, I'm seeing some really cool ones, but I'm just like, hmm, I don't know. So I grabbed this one just some little things to kind of help me motivate me with being a little bit more like on task with some health things. Make healthy choices or make healthy snacks, I guess is what that one says. Cause I will go to work at Lego on Saturday. And so I can make sure I make snacks. And then on Sunday, making sure I go to bed early. So that way I'm prepared for my work day on Monday. And then I'm going to grab this not working out and that's okay sticker to put it on Saturday because I will have done quite a bit of working out over the course of the week and everybody needs a good rest day. And I just like the colors of the sticker and I don't have any purple on the side so I thought I would use that to kind of tie that in. And that's it. So this is my spread for this week coming up. It's very rainbow poppy, uh, which is kind of my favorite. I'm always more motivated when my stuff is more like brightly colored and rainbow. It's kind of more eye catching to me. All right, we got to move my little healthy hero dashboard bookmark over and there we have it if you guys like this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and follow me on instagram at planning with penguins bye